disgraceful, disrespectful, shameful. Just a few words hundreds of our Facebook fans are using to describe this picture gone viral. National Guardsmen and women posing in front of an empty casket with funny faces and hand gestures. This Wisconsin soldier is now suspended. 12 News Hillary Mintz is live at the National Guard headquarters in Madison tonight. Inside their offices here, a spokesman tells me they've been taking calls from all over the country trying to explain how they're handling this situation. And much like so many that have posted online, they say they were deeply offended by the pictures and comments. And this morning, they launched an official investigation. These are the two pictures that Wisconsin National Guard specialist and funeral honor guard member Terry Harrison posted on Instagram that got her suspended. One is Harrison with a folded flag in the background and the caption, quote, it's so damn cold out, why have a funeral outside? Somebody's getting a jacked up flag. Then Harrison in this lighthearted group photo after her graduation of training for honors at funerals with the comment, quote, we put the fun in funeral. Major Paul Rickard says Harrison has been serving on the funeral honor guard for about a year and says it's a significant position. We don't excuse or condone uh, the pictures or the comments. Uh, we take it very seriously. Uh, we expect our funeral honors teams to treat the uh, veterans and fallen service members that they inter with uh, the respect and honor they deserve. Rickard says they do have social media awareness in their yearly training, but they also don't stop any soldiers from using it. It's an expression of free speech. Uh, however, again, we expect uh, soldiers and airmen to conduct themselves professionally and honorably. They're representing not only themselves, but also the National Guard. Governor Scott Walker says he's not happy about the pictures. To me, it's just completely unacceptable. It's an outrage. Uh, it's, it's unfathomable to me that people who were not just service members, but were picked to be in this uh, highly specialized area uh, wouldn't be sensitive enough to realize just how awful that is. And the Wisconsin National Guard unable to give us a timeline as to how long this investigation will take or really what the future will be for this specialist. But they did confirm to us that she's been getting threats online and over the phone. And they say they are protecting her because they don't think it's right for anyone to make threats against servicemen or women. For now, we're live at the Wisconsin National Guard headquarters in Madison. I'm Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. Thank you, Hillary. The Wisconsin Army National Guard is made up of approximately 7,700 Members that includes a headquarters staff in Madison and four major commands located throughout 67 Wisconsin communities.